Hi, welcome to Shelly's Everyday Prepping Adventures. A couple things I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, I have a sister who lives in Florida. Her husband is a truck driver. He's been a truck driver for years now. They used to live in Maryland, but they moved down to Florida. Um, he had his own trucking business and was unable to, well, let's not say unable, he was able to, but it was just too much for him to keep up with the insurance and the upkeep on the trucks and stuff that he had. So he went out of business of working for himself and he now works for a company. He delivers lumber and different things. Um, every day he takes a load up to Tampa and comes back with another load. Sorry, not Tampa, Jacksonville. Uh, he likes his job. He said that um, everything seems good at this point, even with gas prices being high. So he's he's doing well. Um, I asked him about <clears throat> hiring. Um, are they able to hire people? He said, we have some good people. We need more, but we can't we can't find good people to come and work. They, they're just not wanting to work. So there's that. My husband, uh, I've told you before, is a heating and air conditioning man, and he works for a, um, a school board. And every year they... Um, over the summer, they hire um, high school kids to come and do work, maybe paint or, you know, wash walls, whatever. So they can make some money. And he said this year they only had five apply, which is really unusual. They had jobs that they didn't get filled because they don't want to work. Um, also, he said that for next year's fiscal budget, they are um, eliminating and um, not hiring people that are leaving they're not filling their spots and they're not hiring right now because they don't have the money for that so it's a little crazy um as you know i am a farm the farmer's daughter and i have worked and lived on a farm my entire life i'm 55 so i want to give you a little bit of perspective from the farmers again um i do this all the time but i just wanted to let you know um on the East Coast, we're having, in areas, we're having a lot of rain. So my father is trying to get his, he's got all his corn in, he's trying to get his soybeans in, but it keeps raining and it's so wet that he can't get out there and plant the soybean seeds. So he's hoping that it'll dry up and he'll be able to get his soybeans in before it's too late. I wanted to um, tell you, to talk about the fact that um, yes, everything is going up. Farm farmers are going to be getting more for their corn and their soybeans this year, but they're going to have to turn around and put that money back out in fuel and the cost of parts and labor for their um, tractors and, and different things. Um, and the cost for new tractors, if you can even get them, is through the roof. And they're going to have to put out extra money for seeds for the next year. Um, some farmers like to buy their seeds ahead of time, get them ordered and, and, and be ready. My dad always does that. I think it's a farmer's thing, you know, to just be prepared. Um, but yeah, so they are going to be making more money, but it's going out for fuel. It's going out for um, cost of parts and labor. It's going out for seeds. It's going out for fertilizer. It's going out for all these things that have gone through the roof. So to be honest with you, the price increase is not going to help that much in covering all the extras that they have to cover so um yeah <sighs> let me see guys i was trying to think so i went to a restaurant today and um i never had this before but i walk up to the counter and there's nobody there i'm waiting and um so i hear somebody yell there's customers at the register and she comes out and dragging her feet and she's like miserable and unhappy usually you know they come out they have a smile on their face but people are miserable they're not happy in their jobs they're not happy with what they're doing they're not happy with the state of the world they're not happy with you know how much they have to pay it's they're just not generally unhappy and it showed when she came out to the register now, later, she did walk up and ask me, you know, if the food came out okay. And I replied that, yes, that, you know, it came out fine. Uh, then she started about um, gun control. And 
I know that's a touchy subject. I'm not going to get into it here. But as far as I'm concerned, an evil heart will find a way to do evil with or without a gun. This isn't a gun problem. This is an evil problem. If they want to kill your children in a school, they're going to do it. They can do it with a bomb. They could do it. They could drive through the building with a car. I mean, there's so many ways that they could do, you know, what, what they want to do. Um, so I'm not here nor there about the gun control. It's whatever. But her point was, if you take the guns away, it'll go away. No, no, it will not. It will not go away. Um, I'm sorry. I wish it, it was that simple. If it was that simple, I would be like, sure, let's do it. But it's not that simple. It's just not. Um, people's, people have hearts of evil and they're going to do what they're going to do, but they're, they'll find a way. And if they're, um, and I, I did point out to her, I said, it, criminals will always get guns, always get guns. If they want them, they will find them. They will find a way to have them. So well, I don't know what your opinion is on that, but that's how I feel about that. Like I said, I, gun control either way, it's whatever. My point being is, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to comment on how I feel about gun control, but I am just going to say that I don't believe that's the answer. It's evil. It's not, you know, a gun. Somebody can kill with a rock. Somebody could kill with a razor blade, a knife, a car. There's so many things you can kill with if that's what you're intent on doing. Um, anyway, so this is Shelly's Everyday Prepping Adventures. I just wanted to talk a little bit about this. Um, my container, um, vegetables are growing really well. I'll do a video on that later. Um, just wanted to show you what I've got going on. We have some cucumbers and different things growing. Uh, we put up a, um, we're putting up, we're not quite done, a nice little greenhouse with hydroponics in it, um, which should be fun. Um, I like that. I'll do a video on that for you as well. But anyway, <laughs> In the meantime, everybody have a blessed day and please like, share, and subscribe if you like what you've heard. And um, please make a comment. Let me know how you feel um, about what's going on in your area or you having a hard time, you know, filling jobs. Um, what's your perspective? Everybody has their own perspective. We are all in this together, but we're not all in the same boat. Everybody's in a different boat. And I just want, want your perspective from your boat. That would be great. And uh, thank you. Um, subscribe and have a blessed day. This is Shelly's Everyday Prepping Adventures. See you in the next video.